Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Congo, where we are just a couple steps away from African power achievement. This run has been plagued by awful, awful things. Bullshit, bullshit, and more bullshit. Day after day after day. Every time I started recording this campaign, it was just a hassle. But you know what? We pushed through, and uh, I'd say we succeeded with fucking flying colors. Oh, look at him just making as many troops as he can. He knows what's going on. Last I saw this, he only had 32 guys. Now he's got 40. So he's really, really pushing the mercs right now. It ain't gonna help you. Look at this. He's, he's recruiting even more. It ain't gonna help you, dude. He's recruiting more. Non-stop recruitment. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm taking attrition here and I don't care because I'm at my cap. We can take another idea group. Nah, we never even finished the quantity. Uh, nope. I don't need wars. <laughs> I don't need war. Get out of here. I'm busy. Ah, shit, we're at papal points. All right, let's just stab up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't take that much attrition. It's a lot of attrition. Ah, ideas or tech? Uh, we're never going to have any more accepted cultures. And there really is no reason to get all of these finished. So, we'll tech up, I guess. Oh, rebels. Okay, this is something I should have paid attention to. My vassal has rebels. I gotta deal with this shit. Cannot let him fail. I'll even recruit a general. I'll just swap in somebody. Alright, it's almost time to declare. Some random advisor died. That oh, was my... um. Revolt Risk Advisor. Uh, I don't really care what we have, really. Take the level 3, because it's shiny. Alright, get out of there. Take my general back. Let's declare war. It's about that time. Now, see, this, this still says truce until March, but it's already March, so the truce should be over, damn it. All right, April. Don't tell me we lost claims. Fuck you, game. Zuhar. Or, damn it, game. You cancel all of my truces right when I'm about to... I mean, all of my claims right when I'm about to declare war. That's just such a bullshit move. I really don't like that mechanic. You keep all of your claims... You keep all of your claims until the truce wears out. Then you lose all your claims. Such a bullshit. Anyway, let's declare. Uh, you only have one ally, right? Yeah. So I'm going to call him in, co-belligerent, no problem. Piece them out separately, or piece them out together. I don't fucking care. Uh, might as well do imperialism. Well, we can do nationalism. No, we'll do imperialism. It's fine. Co-belligerent. Let's do this. All right. So he went from 32 to 44,000 troops and it's not going to matter. He never really got close to my tech. He westernized, but it didn't matter. He never built a fort in his capital either, which is kind of funny. Let's take our navy to block off this area. Let's 
squish. Nice. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to need to leave a huge army here. So I'll take a few guys out. A couple cav. Some cannons. Let's go party. This is my entire Merc army. This is a hilarious army. 31,000 Mercs, including cannons, because why not? Squish. I don't need to leave 40-something guys here. Let's take the zeros out and then go heal up somewhere. What's up, Omen? Poor guy. Never stood a chance. Oh god, he's actually attacking me? <laughs> oh, Omen, what were you thinking? Should have Zimbabwe very soon. Uh, any more rebels up here? Nope. Alright, I'll take care of Mechnes for you. I need you to core that before I annex you. Finish one of these sieges, please. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is just take half the fleet to go blockade. I want 14% extra siege progress. Hey, Zimbabwe fell. Good. Good. Kick some butthole. Hickory smoked horse butthole. Oh, he wants peace. That's adorable. <laughs> you can't have peace. What do you think this is? Some type of friendly game? Alright, with the blockade, it's going to be sieging a lot faster. Oh, he's going for his capital. He's making a run for it. Yay, fort sieged. Good. That's pretty much it. Alright, that's it for them. So let's run your ass up here. As soon as this fort falls, we can peace out, I'm pretty sure. Gotta get the 
Oman's capital, or else we're not going to be able to peace out swiftly. Hey, Alexandria converted. Nice. Cairo next. Sweet. There goes Shangwei. I guess I can leave one stack down here. All right. I'll leave the Merc stack down here. Why not? The rest of us, though, are going to walk home. Come on, 35%, that should be all we need. Actually, at 99... No, I don't think we can peace out at 99. Yeah, we have to siege everything, because it's a secondary... Although I could talk to him directly, but... I oh, there we go, we got his capital. We're good. We're good. And there's no reason to peace out early, because we still have a few years... We still have three years left to annex our vassal, so there's no reason to peace out early. No hurry, son. Excellent. I don't even want those two provinces. Are they any good? Yeah, they're actually decent. Alright, I'll take them. I was going to say I didn't want him, but... Hey, Jerusalem converted. Jerusalem is now Catholic. Hey. Take that, world. Alright, finish the siege. I want all of it. All. Everything. Everything. All of it. There you go. 125 overextension? What? Alright, I guess I'll cancel some of this shit. Alright, there you go. 97 overextension. Done. Get rid of your cores on my shit. It's mine. I can get rid of all of his cores. I love it. Alright. Delete the forts. No one needs forts. Come on now, don't be silly. And uh, autonomy, if there's anything that needs... Oh yeah, 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 lots of autonomy. Good, 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 yes. That's probably it. Dun, dun, dun. Wish you could sort this list much nicer. But I think that will do. Alright, core it all. Oh god, this fucking menu sucks. This, this coring menu is way better. It's all so cheap. Excellent. And now we just gotta wait. Gotta wait for our vassal to annex. That's pretty much it. So, fast forward. France is still upset with us. God damn it, France. Get your head out your ass. Wow, Hungary's just getting crushed. Poor Hungary. We're actually out of places to convert, which is hilarious. I never expected us to get anywhere near to finish converting, because we were using one missionary for the longest time. And then we finally got 
religious ideas, which gave us a second missionary. And it still didn't look like we had any chance of converting everything. But now that we have Jerusalem and we are defender of the faith, we're converting so many provinces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random bullshit. The world sucks. We know. Yada, yada, yada. God, the, the toughest part right now is just getting through the lag to finish the damn game. <laughs> it's still lagging, like, every week. Alright, we have finished quantity. Which is cool, like it would give us um, more manpower recovery speed, but we don't need it anymore. Is there anything more for reputation? Yeah, there you go, more reputation. <laughs> the next faster, damn it! <laughs> so he's now going to finish in three years. But he advanced it by a few months just by taking that, that, taking that uh, whatever it's called, policy. Zoom in on a sea province to minimize lag? Ah, good idea. But I need to keep my eye on my vassals. I need to keep an eye on Timbuktu, because if he gets rebels... What am I kidding? He won't have rebels. Alright, so let's zoom in on a sea, sea province. Oh, the lag! Alright, there we go. Fast forward, damn it. Yeah, that's much better. Thank you for the suggestion. Still lags for autosaves, but that's fine. Those are expected lags. Oh, is that it? Are we done? No, we have to annex our vassal, right? Create an army for our nation. Well, a mission's a mission. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Finishing quantity, like, doubled our force limit. Holy balls. Alright, we'll build an army. Sure, why not? Uh, build an army in Tunis. And build another army in Cairo. <laughs> Another army in Cape Town. Why not? <laughs> we got so much manpower and money. And we can't even convert any more provinces. The Emperor is dead. Garcia III is dead. Long live Sebastio. And his son, Nukuwu. Hey, Pope, give me that stability, baby. Mmm. January. We're two years away. I can't wait. I can't wait. Sea mounts. Oh, God. Now the game's pausing all the time because it's merging armies together. That's okay. At least this was my doing. <laughs> and not just the game being a dirt. Colonize the last couple provinces just for shits and giggles? Yeah, we could. Um, not sure if we want to, but we could. Well, let's see if we can get it without doing that. Cairo converted. Nice. And we actually can't convert anything. Oh, let me close this door. Those birds are getting squawky. It's too loud. Come on. God, these stupid Why did I build all these armies? We didn't need to. <laughs> We're 11th in score. <laughs> Ah. 
We have 300,000 troops. Wow. Massive fucking army. Oh god, look at Hungary just get rocked. Poor Hungary, man. We can't convert anyone. We gotta wait for these cores to finish. Jeez. Oh, Hungary. Ah, free stability. Or free prestige. I don't need either of these things. God damn it. Recep Pargali. I, I love you and all, but I don't need you. Why don't you go give me, I don't know. I don't know. Just do something other than free stability, because I'm good. We're good on stability. We're good. We're good. Well, the armies are full built. So a new 44k in Cairo, a new 44k in Tunis, and a new 44k in Cape Town, which is still building. Holy shit. They'll get there. And these cores are almost done. Which means we can start converting them to the one true faith. There we go. Convert thine shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random wars. No one gives a shit. People are just declaring on Hungary because he's getting his absolute shit pushed in. He is so fucked right now. Ah, improved reputation. There you go. <laughs> so he's now going to an X in November of this year. What is our reputation, by the way? I'm really curious. Um, my country. Holy shit, we have 10.0 reputation. <laughs> what? Wow, I've never had 10.0 reputation. And we don't even have, we don't even have the influence idea group, which gives you two extra reputation. So if we had that, we'd have 12 reputation right now. I've never had any, I've never had anywhere near this much. That's crazy. Ten reputation. Wow. We're using 12 Diplo points each month <laughs> to annex this guy. Hey, Portugal doesn't hate me anymore. Let's have an alliance, Portugal. There you go. <laughs> he wants a marriage. You got it. Let's be friends. Sweden wants an alliance. You got it. Let's be friends. And we're almost done. So let's see if we get a pop-up. Do we get a pop-up? Come on. Oh, we're so close. Give me the pop-up. Oh, it's going to be at the end, and the end of the month instead of the start of the month. Sometimes it annexes at the start. Sometimes it annexes at the end. And there's no reason for one or the other. Whatever. There we go. Give me the pop-up. Give me the pop-up. Where's the pop-up? 
Damn it, I want my pop-up. Maybe with, wait, one month? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yes! Yes! And we get his 19 troops. Delete these damn forts. No one likes forts. Ugh, forts. Gross. Gross. All right. Fantabulous. Well, there you go. So even if the game shits all over your Cheerios, you can still make a pie. <laughs> It'll be a shitty pie, but you can make a pie. <laughs> so anyway, that is going to do it for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a fucking blast. I had... I, I can't even remember the last time I had a series with this much rage in it. This series was incredibly frustrating. But I'm glad it turned out so well. And I'm glad even though we had incredible hardships, we stuck through it and we still got the fucking achievement that we started out intending to get. And to all you motherfucking naysayers who were saying, oh, it's too late, you're not going to get the achievement, you're not going to get the achievement, it's too late, oh, you waited too long, and you suck at this game, Shen, you're a stupid little bastard, you should go back to playing Mario. Yeah. See? Done. Easy. All right. Let's get a save. Let's go over the ledger, shall we? Oh, we've got the biggest army. Uh, we don't have the biggest navy, but that's just for lack of trying. We actually had the biggest navy, and I deleted a bunch of it. Who's got the highest score? That would be Spain. Okay. So we wound up uh, top 10. Hey, not bad. Top 10. It's not exactly a podium finish, but wow. Look at how many points per month we're getting. That's pretty nice. So we would have, in very short order, we would have passed up Hungary and Ming, because we're right behind them, and they're not making any points. But we're really far behind Tuscany, so we probably wouldn't have caught him before the... I'm thinking about before the end of the game. We definitely would have caught these two. I think we would have wound up in 8th place. Maybe 7th? It depends. It depends if France would... No, no, France is 2,000 ahead of us. Yeah, we would have been 8th place. All right, fantastic. How did Catholic do for a uh, number of provinces? Oh, look at that. 1,000 provinces Catholic. Not bad. And the rest of this doesn't really matter, except I do like to see my Pac-Man charts. Where's my Pac-Man charts? There we go. There's our happy Catholic Pac-Man, our core Pac-Man. Wow, look how much grain we produce. God damn. And wool. This really is the land of just bullshit crap. 50% of our provinces produce Crap. The other 50%, I mean, some of it's okay. Fish is crap. Cloth, eh, it's okay. But some of this is really good. Like, we have dyes, which is very valuable. We have ivory, which is very valuable. So that turned out pretty well. If we still had slaves, it would have been probably one of our highest producing. Religious? Well, we converted almost every single province. The only provinces we did not convert were the ones from our vassal, because we just annexed him. And also the ones from Oman, because, well, we just took the land. But everything else has been converted to Catholic. That's great. Uh, you can see how Catholic Europe turned out. Europe was a mess. Uh, the Protestants won the Protestant League War. So the HRE itself was just really weak because of that. And Hungary was able to take a whole bunch of land here. And then again, he also took a lot of that through his union with Austria. Sweden stayed Catholic, which is weird. And there's no real there's really no Orthodox nations in the world except Circassia and Russia, but that's not unusual. The New World. That's South America's Catholic, but North America is a mix. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised that Newfoundland, 13 colonies, and British Mexico didn't get independent. Mexico got independent, but British Mexico never did. That's so weird. Uh, New Spain. Yeah, the Spanish colonies never broke free. The Portuguese ones, Chile, Brazil, Peru, and Colombia, all the Portuguese ones all got independence. But the Spanish ones never even tried, and the British ones failed numerous times. I don't think the French ones ever tried either. Europe itself is just a fucking mess. This is disgusting. But, hey, that's it worked in our favor. A lot of this worked in our favor, especially having... Hungary as an ally against the Ottomans and... Wait, no, Hungary didn't help against the Ottomans. Well, Hungary was in a separate war against the Ottomans, but yeah. 
So what, the, the tactic we did here, if you guys didn't watch the whole series, let me go ahead and deck up. If you didn't watch the whole series, the tactic we did was to get to tech 27 before we really went out and, and kicked people's asses. We stayed small until tech 27. We, we were just staying right here in West Africa, in this area, until tech 27. And then we went gangbusters and just killed everyone. Uh, we colonized via uh, exploration. We took exploration all the way to the last idea, took all of it, and then we canceled the exploration idea because you don't need it. You can see we got the achievement. We didn't even colonize these last three provinces because you don't need them. So we deleted it. We got some points back and we put them into, I think we put it into religious. Yeah. But yeah, having all the gold mines really, really hurt our economy for a long time. We also had, what's it called? It's not called market collapse. It's called something else. Whatever, it's the really, really bad economic collapse event where you gain five, uh, you gain five inflation. Do you lose stability during that one? I don't remember what, I don't remember. It's just a really bad event that happens. And then it, it can only happen if you have really high inflation. For a while we had 20 inflation. It was just not much we could do about it. And that's because we had so much gold. But as the game progressed and we teched up and we westernized and got this other stuff going for us, we started making a lot more off of trade production and taxation. So that helped out a lot to mitigate the inflation. Uh, what else can we look at? I don't know. Look at the Empire. It's still strong. It's just they don't really... The Empire doesn't really own much of its own land. Sweden, Commonwealth, and Hungary own more Empire land than the rest of the Empire. So they're a really weak Empire right now. Tech-wise, we wound up bright green, 30, 29, 30. Pretty much on par with the rest of the world. We probably have less ideas than other people, but who cares? Tech is way more important than... My, well, tech is more important than most ideas. No, we can't spawn Jan Mayan. You can't. This is an Iron Man save. You can't... We open the console, you can type, uh, uh, Bear has landed. It doesn't do anything because you're an Iron Man. Can't do it. Release everyone you can? Yeah, we can do that. Who can we release? Great subjects. There we go. Algiers. Sure. Sup, Algiers? Kabilia. Hello. Clemson, hello. Togert. Ah, the Momluks, of course. Hi, Momluks. Yemen. Hi, Yemen. Kilwa. Hey, Kilwa, I haven't seen you in forever. Jolof. Over here. Fulo. Wow, they're big. I think they share they share most of Molly's cores, so that's gonna look a little weird. Song High. Kong. Jenny. Jenny. There's a lot of these things, aren't there? Our Jewish vassal, Simeon. I wonder if he spawns as Jewish, even though there's no Jewish in the world anymore.
Try and do it by least number of provinces, so we'll wind up with the most people on the map. There's a ton of these guys, aren't there? Wow. There we go. That's all the ones we can make. Nice. <laughs> uh, we're over our Diplo limit by 22. <laughs> Craziness. All right, fantastic. There's not much else to look at, so yeah, let me just end it. All right, well, there you go. There's our end screen. We got 4,700 points, wound up in 10th place, which is fine with me. Uh, we had the largest army, third largest navy, second most provinces, ninth highest. I think the highest provinces goes to Russia. Uh, ninth highest province value. Africa doesn't really have much development, so that actually made it, that worked in our favor, because it helped us core things a lot faster. It was a lot cheaper, I mean. Highest income and the eighth, eighth highest trade income. Well, that's nice we have the highest income. I wonder why. I'm not sure why we had the highest income. It could be because we were under our army force limit by a bit. <laughs> we're under by 150. Still, that turned out pretty well. I'll scroll through this so you can see it. Oh, read it like data reads it. There you go. History of Congo. And that'll do. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time, which could be after the Cossacks DLC comes out. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you later. Have a good time.